quiz show Pointless, he's become a global best-selling author, selling millions of copies of his hit series, The Thursday Murder Club. It is, of course, the brilliant Richard Osman. Welcome, Richard. Oh, Welcome. Thank you. Lovely to see you both. What a great show so far. Oh, thank you very Goodness. much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see if we can continue it. Richard was saying he was sitting over there wanting to get involved all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 everyone yeah. everyone who comes up, Martin Lewis, Martin, I've got a question for you. <laughs> yeah. The doctors who were so brilliant, yeah. weren't they? I just wanted to yeah. sit and say thank you. But yeah, that's, so that, anyway, listen, carry on, you're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, thanks very, thank very much. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got that's time for. Yeah. You can leave now. <laughs> yeah. I can leave that. Um, I just cannot. Well, I can. The success you've had. I mean, you've sold over 10 million uh, books worldwide mm. now. Um, you're, look, they're saying it's the next Harry Potter. Yeah. It's yes. kind of annoying, isn't it? Is that what you're yes. doing? It's kind of annoying his success, his prolific success. And I felt like <laughs> I never had to really read the brief because Craig has been talking about you all evening last yeah. night, weren't yeah. you? Well, yeah. he's, he's like your number one biggest the, fan. The, 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 yeah. the, the Thursday Murder Club is just a fantastic series and the characters are brilliant and become so invested in yeah. them yeah. and the way they live and the way they strive to have their best lives even the, uh, in, in this nursing home yeah. they're brilliant aspirational characters well it's a joy you know I've, I've, I've always written and about five years ago I thought I'm, I've got to write a novel and again it's I was my mum lives in a retirement home and I just met some of these people I thought that's the thing I have to write about I have to write about this generation the extraordinary things they've done and the life that's still in them and the adventures they have and the counter side of that you know grief you're talking about later so I thought that's what I want to write about and yeah people have really really taken it to their hearts and around the world as well which is so lovely because I love writing them I love the characters and to share them with people is uh, it's uh, it's just a dream um, is there anything that um, you know you do to develop your writing, or does it just come to you? Do you have to go on long walks, or is does some does it come to you during, the, or do you make notes all the time? How do you it develop is, I, the I, stories? I, I try. This is the key to writing. If anyone is at home writing, the key to writing is do anything you can to stop to, to not write. So I'll sit downstairs for hours and hours and hours and go. I'll just watch Bargain Hunt, you know, and uh, then eventually I go upstairs. The cat will sit on my lap. For like five minutes, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to write. And then suddenly something clicks in and one of the characters will say a line or someone will walk into a room who you've not met before and then, you know, you're writing, writing, writing. But yes, it's all characters. When people, if people fall in love with characters, they'll, they'll read your whole book. Do you, do you have a favourite? Because I, I'm guessing, I'm going to take a stab, that you have a thing for Joyce. I love Joyce. Yeah. I love Joyce because, you know, she writes a diary, so we're, we're, we're sort of inside her head a little bit more. I think all four of them are different parts of my brain. I think I've got a bit of Ibrahim the psychiatrist, a bit of Ron the Bolshe union leader, a bit of Elizabeth the spy, yeah. but mostly Joyce, who just has such a kind of... I love her kind heart. We were saying last night, we just wonder what your IQ is. Oh, God knows. I, I don't think it's that... Oh, big. we do, don't we, Yeah, Craig? yeah, I think you have a crazy large brain. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah we do. think yeah. Yeah, No, we if do. you... Honestly, if you saw me at home just sort of trying to fix things, you'd be like, oh, oh God, no, this, this guy's not the brightest. Okay. <laughs> well, he's not the smartest guy I've ever met. Wearing fix... cornflakes in your beard. I was trying yeah. to fix the boiler, and I was like, I can't... I don't understand this <laughs> at all. Um, so, can we have your big announcement, yes. please? So, I've done four Thursday Murder Club books, and there will be more. There's more coming Good. back. But this year, I've written a brand new book with brand new characters. Uh, so we haven't ever told anyone the title or the front cover. I think we got the front cover. It's called We Solve Murders, is the name of the book. It's out in September. It's a brand new series. Uh, it's, uh, there you go, look at that. Sort of like oh, a, you've a cover and everything. OK, so this is really happening, with, Richard. With a cat <laughs> yes. and a gun. Unfortunately, it is happening. <laughs> uh, and it, it's, it's, about, it's, it's about a detective duo. It's about a father-in-law and daughter-in-law. The father-in-law has a small investigations company in the New Forest in Hampshire. But, you know, he doesn't really like leaving his village. All he likes, he likes going home to his cat and he likes to make sure he does the pub quiz every Tuesday. That's all he wants. His daughter-in-law is a close protection officer to billionaires around the world. So she's always flying to private islands on private jets. Uh, her life is in danger and she has to send for the only person who she can trust, which is her father-in-law. Suddenly, he's going around the world on private jets and he's, he's not happy about it. But it's got all the kind of wit and humour of a Thursday murder club. But, you know, you're in St Lucia and you're in Dubai and, you know, it's, it's really, it's such an absolute it, treat. I, I, this character sounds very familiar. Might he be sitting on the sofa opposite him? Well, do you know I what? Mean, I, you have to travel. You'd rather be at home with your cat. <laughs> That's what, sort of where, where he came from, Steve, who, who, who's that guy. I thought whenever I go abroad, and it's lovely to go, I know it's lovely, but I'm always like, oh, I just want to sit at home and watch the snooker, really. And I just thought, what if I had a, a hero who was forced 
to travel around the world on private jets and is not happy about it. I don't travel around the world on private jets, by the way. Uh, so, you know, he's literally on a private jet and they, 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 they don't have beer or crisps. And he's like, oh, God, <laughs> this is the worst. So, it's, you know, I just, I just force him into, because he loves his daughter-in-law so much and she loves him, I force them into this kind of, uh, this, this unit that has to, has to solve murders. Are, are you nervous? Because the Thursday Murder Club, they're so familiar and the characters are so charming and lovable. It's a safe place to write from, yeah. I would imagine, because you know them so yeah. well. Going into new territory, does it feel like that kind of difficult second album kind of situation. You know what, I was nervous at first. It's like going to a new school. And I thought, you know, can I, can I do this? And for the first three chapters, I was like, you're not Joyce, you're not Ron. And actually three chapters in, I went, oh my God, I love you. <laughs> and that's the moment when, as a writer, you think, OK, I think this has got legs, cos if I like the characters, and if they're surprising me, I think are good, I think people at home will like them as well. And, you know, there's three main characters, the father-in-law, daughter-in-law, and uh, a woman who's the world's best-selling crime novelist. She's like Jackie Collins, mm -hmm. and she's kind of the third wheel. And the three of them, when I put them together and they start talking to each other, I'm like, they just... it runs away. And so uh, I, th I think I love it. I mean, who knows? Well... But, but, but I love it. And Steven Spielberg is also a big fan of your work. He's been in touch. Talk about Got Legs. I mean, yeah. Thursday Murder Club is going to be made into a film. It's that... going to be made into a film, um, hopefully filming this August. <gasps> um, amazing casting news, which I'm not allowed to say, because it's... Uh, but uh, certainly one of the cast is someone who people always say to me, is so-and-so going to be in this film? One of the cast members... Judy Dench. One of the... Co Craig, you will not Sorry. get it out okay. of me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a brown trouser in She's Elizabeth. I'm just saying yeah, yeah. she's Elizabeth. You should cast her. Uh, and, but one of the names is someone I never would have thought of in a million years, but is absolutely brilliant. So I'm incredibly excited about it. Wow, so you've got the film, and then it's hugely popular. You've got a series on the way as well. You're in talks to do an actual series. Of We Solve Murders, yes. And Netflix have bought the rights to We Solve Murders, which is uh, great. Um, so, yeah, I mean, listen, it could, it could be a busy few years. Unless everyone reads We Solve Murders and says, this is not for us, no. in which case uh, they'll go quiet. But I think, I think anyone who likes Thursday Murder Club will like it. It's... It's, yeah, it's, listen, so, a, a lot of it is the yeah. same. It's like British humour, there's a few tears, there's, you know, it's, uh, it's familiar. lots of murders. Yeah. There's a moment in the last Thursday Murder Club book, and I don't want to give too much away, but someone passes away, and I sobbed oh. throughout the whole thing in the build-up to yeah. his or her death. Yeah. Clever, eh? That's um, good. When you're writing it, do you yeah. get upset? Yes, I really did, particularly in, in, in the... There's, there's a couple of scenes uh, about the character you're talking about. Yeah, if I'm writing it, I'm, yeah, I can... I'm finishing it and I'm crying, and then when I read it again, I'm crying. So I, I, if I read stuff back and I cry and I read stuff back and I laugh, I think, OK, that's, yeah. that's the job done. But, yeah, it's... Because it's about older people, I, do, I like to talk about grief, or I feel I have to. I like to talk about, yeah. you, you know, death and all of that. Yeah, I think you have to do that. You have to be very, very honest about, about how people's lives are. Because then you can have... The, because there are loads of adventures and there are loads of fun and there are loads of new friends, but there's also difficulty. So, yeah, it, it's... it's um, it was hard to write, but I'm glad I did, because so many people come and talk to me about it. And so is everybody. I mean, We Solve Murder. It's not even out yet, being yes. turned into a series already. You've got Steven Spielberg on the phone for the yeah, Thursday Murder Club. Well, Big Steve, yeah. <laughs> well done, you, Richard. Yeah, oh, yeah. Most Thank importantly, you. I need my redemption day on House of Games. On House yeah. of Games, you, yeah. I have to, because... It you, was... Were so, you were so unlucky, Craig, to get so few points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like day after day, so unlucky. I'm so unlucky. <laughs> the questions didn't suit me, Richard. Yeah, I mean, every single one of them didn't suit you. It was like, honestly, I, I, I felt for you. Aww. Can I give the books back I bought? I bought all of my ones. Well done. I oh, congratulations. To bring some in. He's fantastic. <laughs> Thank Look, it's you. great. And, and, and just loving your work. Thank you, mate. Okay, take care of yourself. Thanks for coming in. Right.